Welcome back to another day. Let's see if this stays. Ugh. It's freaking been a minute and a half. What's up? The NASDAQ is about to... Not the NASDAQ. We're over the NASDAQ now. We're looking at the US 30 very early. Anyway, uh, we're going to see if we can get any trades going before we head off to the railroad for work. It is... 507 we entered around here we were shorting and then that didn't work and then we went long and we tried to do a half profit but i didn't know how to do it on this setup and just kind of mess it up so i lost one trade and won one trade for a plus win of um, 400 so 0.4 percent which is not crazy but not terrible anyway but yeah i guess it's time to get ready for work welcome to alaska the coolest thing about it here is it doesn't really get dark in the summertime oh. hey, uh, i need to get my stuff ready and get out of here. All right, now we got our car hearts on, our steel toe set, dressed like a baggage boy. And we are ready to get our day started. Ugh, it's been a minute since we've done this. All right, and we are off to the railroad. It is 5.20 in the morning. We have to be at the railroad at 6. This means we probably have some time to stop for a little bit of coffee on the way. We are on day number 7 of a fast right now. So we are going to be only drinking black coffee. No uh, creamers, any of that tasty stuff. First stop of the day in Fairbanks. These little coffee huts are all the thing. Things that I do for you. Hey, good morning. Yeah, um, could I please order just a 20 ounce black coffee? There you go. All right, have a great day. Thanks, you too. Now we have some coffee. On to the railroad. So here's the railroad depot. There's the train. Pretty much what we do is we put all the bags into these crates and then we take the forklift and we take them out to the train. All the bags come through the conveyor belt right there. And we load them all up in the thing. Anyway, we get to do that at 6.30 in the morning to 8.20. 52 right now. Why am I here so early? These are the questions. Regardless, we're back with another day. Let's try to make it as awesome as possible. Yo, it is 5.50 in the morning. Um, we're on the one second charts here and we saw this little price action forming and we're like, all right, it's going up, it's going up. And we tried to buy it around here somewhere. We got stopped out and then we bought again because it came back. We got our support here. And kaboom! Look at this. Look at this. Pretty good. Um, so I forgot to film because I'm not used to making vlogs, but uh, we loaded the train. The train is gone now. And now we're doing busy work like taking the flags down and it's pretty much just cleaning up. We are here from 6 in the morning until 10 in the morning. And then we come back at night. Next stop of the day, we have a mad case of the hiccups. <clears throat> so we're gonna try to get some electrolytes before going to the gym. All right, we're back. This is going to add 10 calories to us and 490 milligrams of sodium. Hopefully I stop hiccuping. Uh, we're gonna go to the gym and kind of like stretch and probably do a sauna and maybe tread some water. Just light workout stuff. It's currently 10 11 in the a.m. All right, just like that, the gym is done. All right, it is now 1 17 in the afternoon. 
this is this is where I live. We are out in the yard right now picking up some sticks. So that way the grass will be easier to mow because we need to do that at some point. All right, we're back. We picked up some sticks and then we walked a little bit around our neighborhood and ugh, the sun when you're fasting is kind of like, oh my gosh, but yeah. It's super nice. It's like 80 degrees, 77 degrees up today. Pretty nice. Not bad for North Pole, Alaska. Anyway, on to computer work. Okay, it's like 2 p.m. Check it out. This is this is the room I grew up in. Legend back in the day. Bro, what kind of haircut do I have? I don't even know. Anyway, we are going to we're we're coming to the end of this fast. And we're ending it day six. We got really bad hiccups today. And I'm ready to have energy again. I don't need to be this uh, dying person anymore. Going on for one more day seems pointless. But what I needed to have happen was like, I have this like inner like warrior spirit inside of me. And it was dead. And it was covered up by some other gunky stuff. And this last week and this last month have been me trying to kill off the bad parts of myself and find that spark again. I found it, I feel it again. Now I need to hone it. So that's about becoming a good beast, becoming a warrior, becoming strong and fit and able. Yeah, and uh, you need food to do that. Um, I really enjoy times of stepping away from everything and being like more introspective. So having a more fasting period, but uh, yeah, it's time for me to get back to normal life. So anyway, I'm gonna grab a little snack and then we'll pull up the computer and start going. Yeah, right? Another train unloaded. Anyway, I forgot to film the actual train being taken away, but uh, we unloaded the train in there. It brings the crates, and then we unload the crates in there. Hey, hey, and it's, yeah, you know, the sun's starting to set. It's uh, 10.46 in the evening. The train got in a little late tonight. The grass is looking nice and stick free. Oh, let me park this car real quick. And maybe we'll do it out here so there's still light. Yeah, I mean, I know this wasn't my best vlog and probably Andy, you're the only one actually watching this. Yeah, I think, I think the best part of the fast I just did was my journal. And I was able to just kind of go day by day and figure out like what I actually conceptually want and how to get there and a lot of it is I need to start acting like a hero again and I need to be honest I need a good work ethic I need to care and I need to be strong and fit I also came to the revelation I really admire successful traders that's kind of the only chance the scholarship foundation part of still learning can even exist so it seems like a really good one to focus on since I'm not really connected to sports or coaching right now and anyway this day I was just talking about emptying myself out and what it was like to fast a bunch and then coming to today ending the fast realizing we have so much opportunity for improvement but we have all these battles that we're gonna have to fight and hopefully we're able to win some of them if not all of them but new challenges will always pop up and how you respond to arbitrary issues is what matters. Try to enthusiastically and willingly undertake the burden. If you keep this up, the world smiles back at you, even in periods of darkness and suffering.